So you always say, do you make them tough in Alberta? Do you make them tough in uh, Calgary? And when you play the University of Wisconsin, you got to be tough. And this this player fit all uh, three of those distinctions. So today we're again in our series of uh, podcasts on one, two, and three year wonders uh, with the uh, WHA. We're going to talk about the great Jim Boyd. Now Jim Boyd, five nine, one eighty, very rugged player. First came to major prominence, of course, with University of Wisconsin uh, NCAA, NCAA program over three seasons between 69 and 71. His point totals were impressive, more than a point and a half, a point, a point and a half game pace. His best campaign, in my estimation, was his last in 71, where he had 49 points in 33 games. Now, that season, he also got his first pro action with the Amarillo Wranglers of the CHL, where he had a goal in two games. Now, 72, he found himself with the Fort Wayne Comets of the uh, IHL, his rookie year, 80 points in 67 regular season games, including 26 goals, and 11 points in eight playoff games, including four counters. Now, he played uh, his first season with the Phoenix Roadrunners, the WHL version, in 1973, point of game pace, 72 points in 72 games, including 22 uh, goals, uh, great playmaker that year. 11 points in 10 playoff games, including 8 assists. 74, he found himself with Oklahoma City of the CHL. 60 points in 72 games. Now, when Phoenix was building that team in 75, uh, it was pretty well a guarantee we'd get the call, and that's what happened. His rookie season with Phoenix, 70 points in 76 games, including 44 assists, 26 goals. 76, his second consecutive 20-goal season, 57 points in uh, 80 games on a very, very fluid offensive team for Phoenix. Uh, he would basically either be primary first or second line, played a lot of the power play. But 77, he eventually found himself when with the Calgary Cowboys with only 13 games. Went to Austria for a year in 78 with Graz EC, then back to North America for the PHL version of Phoenix, where he wrapped up his minor uh, career with the uh, Roadrunners uh, in that campaign, 81 points in 60 games. Again, the playmaking numbers of this guy was tremendous. Uh, a lot of people compared him kind of to um, kind of a, 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 a poor man's Adam Oates, uh, have a lot of assists. But he was, uh, we used to call this guy part of the Bushdash Brigade for the Roadrunners. When the Roadrunners were playing in 75 and 76, he had pretty well, like, you know, the disco... Uh, look with the uh, curly hair and the mustaches. If you see his photos, you know, he, he really stood out. There was a lot of players in the Roadrunners. And a beautiful logo to Phoenix Roadrunners. So you got these tall, handsome guys playing for Phoenix, like Jim. Big mustaches, the, the big curly hair, no helmet with the Roadrunners. You know, it looked, the, the team looked good and played good, is what I'm saying. And he helped, uh, 